Well, today is the 2018 Science and Engineering Fair for Riverside Unified School District. I made a hologram. I'm trying to find out factors that improve machine learning. It Does temperature affect the output of a solar cell? We chose how sound waves get affected by sound dampening foam. It's very exciting. With the next generation science standards, we've got kids that are engaging in real science as scientists. And it's really exciting. I was not putting together science projects like this when I was their age. I made it because it's like, I don't know, I feel like nobody's ever tried it before. I'm actually personally interested in wind turbines, so I thought it would be a cool idea to do a science project on one. Well, this is a wind tunnel that I've constructed to simulate uh, Mars' atmospheric conditions. So I did my project on first impressions. This is a simulation of Flint, Michigan, testing the aggression levels of water and its, and its influence on metal piping. This is one of our biggest outreach events that we do every year, and I think it's been over 25 years that UCR has been hosting this, and we're very, very happy to continue this partnership. We have about uh, 300 kids here today and uh, they won at their school level. And the science fair gives them a chance to go and communicate all of their findings with each other. I thought if the size of the blades affected how, how much energy was produced from them and actually it does. I knew when I did a science project that I wanted to do something with alternative energy. As a competitive swimmer I know that in order to get fast and possibly make it far in swim, you need to have strength and endurance. So this belt will do that. All the primary and elementary projects, our science ambassadors judge them. And the science ambassadors are all high achieving science undergraduate students. I think it's such a cool experience just getting to like see where these kids are and like their creativity. Well, it's really fascinating to watch some of the titles and, and some of the, the high level things that our, our students are able to do. It's just, it kind of blows my mind when I, when I watch it. It's fantastic. And I think this kind of preparation is essential to get uh, students involved in STEM and make sure they have the uh, dedication and most importantly the excitement about science to like persevere through college and you know hopefully advanced degrees as well. I think you know I had the same curiosity that a lot of these kids have. And so you start doing things like this, getting more involved, and that curiosity just grows into something more.